So you want to build a website, but you're probably stuck asking yourself questions like, am I going to have an online store? Uh, do I want to start a blog? What domain should I use? I want you to forget all of those questions because in this video, I'm going to teach you how to build a super simple Squarespace website in 10 minutes. Yep. 10 minutes. I timed it. Now what we're going to do is create a single page that has a picture that has a little introductory paragraph and it has a form so people can contact me. All of that other stuff like a blog or an online store or an about us page or services page, I can add those at literally any time. Website content isn't permanent. Once I create it, I can add anything else I want to later on using Squarespace. So we're going to head over to squarespace.com and get started. You ready? Start the clock. So here we are at squarespace.com. I'm going to go ahead and select templates and you will see a ton of different options here. If there's a template that looks kind of like the website you want to create, awesome, go for it. Go ahead and start with that template. All of these can do the exact same thing. If you want a blog, you can add it. If you want a story, you can add it. Feel free to pick any template that you really like the style of. I want to keep it nice and simple. So I'm going to go ahead and start with this template right here known as Randy. I'll link to it in the description below. As soon as you click on that option, you'll be prompted to create your account. I'll select continue with email, enter your information here and click continue. And Squarespace will set up your website and start you with their free 14 day trial. So you can finish updating the content before you launch it to the World Wide web. Now, the first thing you'll be prompted to do is to add a site title. I'll just call this one my new website and click continue. And this will walk you through a couple of things like editing pages, creating content and adding a style. We're going to cover all of this stuff. I'll select get started and we'll get to it. Oh, this will pop up on the right hand side, your little assistant here. If you've got some time, definitely check out these articles. It gives you more information on how to use the program itself and it's pretty awesome. So check those out if you've got the time, but we'll go ahead and click the X button because we're in a hurry today. Now on the left hand side is our main menu. This is how we navigate through parts of our website. We've got pages, which is how we access the pages, design, which is how you guessed it, you change the design. <laughs> then we've got commerce if you set up a store, marketing if you're using email campaigns or want to set up social media, scheduling, analytics, profiles, site settings, which we'll talk about, and then of course their help articles. Over here on the right hand side is our website preview. This is what our website will look like when it goes live. Now you'll notice on the top right hand side here, I've got this phone. If I click on this, this is what the mobile version of my website looks like. We'll go ahead and go back to desktop view and mobile. And then there is an arrow on the right hand side. This will extend it to take up the full screen here on my computer browser so I can really see what it looks like. If I click this arrow, it'll shrink it down to just fit the size of the site preview. Now let's click into pages because I want to point out these two sections right here. We've got main navigation and we've got not linked. If I take this link right here and pull it down into this section of my website, it goes away from my main navigation. It's no longer there. Now the link says, give me a call. Let's go ahead and pull this back up here. If we click this icon right here, we can actually link to a telephone number and they can click on that number and call you from their mobile phone. I don't want that. So I'm going to go ahead and click the trash can icon and we'll get rid of it. Now, all I want to have is a page that's a coming soon page that's going to tell people about my business and give them an option to contact me. So right here, it says book a consultation. If I click on this, it's a pop up form that people can use to fill out their information and send me a message. I want to edit this. So I'm going to go ahead and click that X button and I'll select edit on the top left hand side of my website preview here. Clicking on edit means I can edit this page. Now let's scroll down here and I'll double click on this. This is our form and moving it up here. The first thing I need to do is change the storage option. Right now, this form isn't going to send any information anywhere because I don't have a storage option. So again, I double clicked on the form and then I selected storage. I'll scoot this over so we can see everything. There we go. And under email, I'm going to click here and I'm just going to add my email address. Now, anytime someone fills out this form, it'll send that information to this inbox. All right, let's go back. Let's click on content and select edit form fields. This is where you can change the content of the form. Right now it just has name, email, subject, and message. And I don't think I want subject. So I'm going to select edit and I'll remove this and then I'll select done. And let's go ahead and change message to tell me about your project. I'll click into message and instead of message, I'll have it say, tell me about your 
project spelled correctly. There we go. <laughs> now I have it toggled on to required. Someone has to fill out this field or else they can't submit the form. If you don't want that to be required, just toggle that off. If it's green, that means they have to fill out that information before they can hit the submit button. Now let's go back because there's one last thing I want to edit about this field and that's the post submit. What happens when someone fills out this form? Under post submit, it'll show them a message that says thank you. I'm going to go ahead and add a little bit more to that. I'll contact you about your project as soon as possible. Customize this to anything you want it to be. And if you want to redirect them to a page on your site or a PDF or something else, click redirect and click this gear icon right here. Here you can send them to a different page on your website, any page on the internet, or even upload a PDF if you want them to get that as soon as they fill out that form. I'll go ahead and click close because all I want is this message. We'll go back and the form is good to go. Now I'm not a dietitian, nutritionalist, or yoga instructor, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on this text right here and remove it. I'm gonna press Control V on my keyboard to paste the text I already had saved that introduces myself. Now you'll notice as soon as I clicked into that, we've got this text editor option down here. You should be pretty familiar with this if you've ever edited a Google Doc or a Word document or anything along those lines. Here's where we change the type of text, bold, italicized, alignment, all that fun stuff. Let's go ahead and change this to a paragraph one so it's a little bigger and I want to center it. There we go. Now we're going to change the font style and the colors of all of this fun stuff. But first, I'm going to add a picture of myself because I want people to know who I am and to see my face. So as soon as you see this plus icon on a Squarespace website, that means you can add some content. So I'm going to click this plus icon and I'll upload an image of myself. Clicking on image, I'm just gonna drag and drop this from my computer right here. And under the design tab, you've got a lot of options, but this is a quick setup, so we won't get into that stuff. There we go, my image has been uploaded, but it's huge. It doesn't need to be that big. So I'm actually gonna drag this over to the left, and now it'll share the screen with the rest of this text. How cool is that? Let's go ahead and drag this over a little bit more. There we go. Now it doesn't take up too much space. Now this background image, I don't really like, so I'm gonna click this icon and under background, I'm just going to remove it and it'll go away. So it's just a picture of me and the text that I added. Now I want to change the colors of this, but I don't need to use the colors tab just yet. Let's change the style of our website. I'm gonna click this icon right here on the top right hand side. You'll see this paintbrush when you're in edit mode. Clicking on that allows me to select my site styles. Let's go ahead and actually start with fonts. I'll click into fonts and you have a ton of options here. I have a training on your font menu linked in the description below if you wanna explore this more, but let's go ahead and just change the font pack. We'll select a pre-made one that Squarespace already created. I'll click font pack and we'll go for a sans serif font. Scrolling down here, Poppins is my favorite font, so I'm gonna click on that and there we go. All the text has been updated. Now let's work with those colors. Navigating back, I'm gonna to go to my main site styles menu and I'll select colors. Now in Squarespace, you've got a color palette, you've got color themes, and you guessed it, there's an additional training about colors linked in the description below, but let's go ahead and make this nice and quick. Now you'll notice immediately Squarespace tells me what color theme this content is in. It'll show in the top right hand side that I'm working with dark one. So I'm gonna scroll down over here until I see dark one. There we go. And I'll click this edit icon. Now all I wanna do is change the color of this button. See that blue line as soon as I hover over it? If I click on that button, it'll narrow down all of my options on the right hand side so I can see what I want to edit. Let's change the background color to, let's make it a solid white button. And then we'll change the text color. Actually, that's perfect. We'll leave it at that color. Now that button really stands out. I'll go ahead and navigate back here. And again, check out the additional training below to learn about all these color themes and the palette, lots of fun stuff to explore. But we've got pretty much everything set up except for these social links. We've got, I'll go ahead and click close and let's select edit site header. Clicking into elements, this is where those social media links are. If you don't wanna have those on your website, toggle them off. Otherwise, hop into edit social links and add your own content right here. I want to link to my YouTube channel, but I don't want Twitter, so I'm going to click on it and select remove. And sure, I'll link to Instagram, but not Squarespace's Instagram account. How about my own? There we go. I'll select save and we'll be good to go. Now let's save our changes here by selecting done and save. And last but not least, let's link this to a domain. Hopping out of the home page here, 
will be taken back to that main menu we saw when we first logged in. Now here in my settings, I've got domains down here closer to the bottom. If I click on this, you'll see this is actually the built-in domain that I'm using. You don't have to purchase a domain just yet. Clicking into here, I can change this to anything I want it to be. If I want it to be Becca's website.squarespace.com, I'll select rename, confirm, and as soon as the page refreshes, now I can send people to Becca's website.squarespace.com. I do have to subscribe in order to publish this to the World Wide Web, so you can click subscribe right here and select the plan you want to get started with. You don't have to pay annually, you can just select pay monthly, and even a personal plan will be enough to get started. I'll go ahead and click close, and we'll call this brand new website ready to rock. And there you have it, 10 minutes to a brand new website using Squarespace. Now again, I have a ton of free training about all kinds of cool things that you can do with Squarespace. Head on over to insidethesquare.co forward slash training. You can check out that in-depth video about the color menu and the fonts and setting up a blog and portfolios. I've got all kinds of stuff there. And when you want to learn more about all of the tiny things you can do with Squarespace, like changing the layout of the website header or linking to a PDF from a button, head on over to insidethesquare.co and you can check out all kinds of resources and free training videos that will teach you how to do pretty much everything you could want to do with a Squarespace website. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you learned something awesome. Definitely give me a like if you enjoyed this content. And again, check out those links below because this is just the beginning of all the cool things you can do with Squarespace. Thanks again for watching and most importantly, have fun with your Squarespace website. Bye for now.